guys and welcome back to my world. Now, I've got a tutorial today that I have actually covered small parts of it in some of my other videos, but um, I keep getting the question about how to subtract one from a score when somebody dies. Um, so, I mean, I used it in pretty much all of my builds, but it's part of a larger build. So I thought what I'm going to do is today, I'm just going to actually um, show you just the actual mechanism itself. So it's nothing more than how do you subtract one from the score when somebody dies. So the first thing you need to do is set up two variables or objectives, sorry, to set up two objectives. The first objective is the default object, one of the default objectives called death count. So go have a look at it. Okay. The command for that is scoreboards objectives add deaths. So now deaths is the name that I'm giving this. This is not the default name. It's the name I'm giving it. Uh, if I reference it in my code, and then death count, that is the default, okay? And then uh, the friendly name, which is the name that will be displayed, is deaths, okay? So if you just create that. Then the next one, I can set that as the side, on the sidebar, so you'll see on the left-hand side, I've got that. So that is literally just scoreboard, objectives, set display, sidebar, deaths. Okay, so that's the first objective you need to set up. The second objective you need to set up is a, a dummy obje objective called lives. Now, this is what we're going to subtract. The lives are going to go down every time you die. So to set that up is scoreboard, mm -hmm. objectives, add lives. So lives is what I call it. Dummy is the, uh, the default dummy catch-all objective and lives is the, the one that will be displayed on the side. Now this is the one that I'm going to set on display on my side so you can see it over this on the side there so that you guys can actually see what um, happens. So a scoreboard, same thing, to set that scoreboard ob objectives, set display, sidebar, lives. Okay, then over here I just have one set up to give myself three lives to show you guys. So literally that's just scoreboard, players, set, at players uh, in a radius of six blocks from this command block, uh, add three to the lives um, objective okay right so that's that's it so you'll see I've given myself on the left hand side three lives so how this basically works so over here I've got two death traps set up one just launches me into the air when I jump and I die and the other one is just a straightforward kill potion so let me just set myself into survival now keep your eye on the lives on the side there um, so let me just actually um, make this time set night. I just find it, it's, it's, you can actually see it better. Right, so I'm in survival, I'm jumping, wooey! <laughs> so when I fall, I will die, okay, bang. And immediately on the right hand side, you'll see my lives has dropped to two, okay. So if I give myself, so if I just go and die again, this time let's just give myself an instant death, okay right you'll see it's dropped to one and if I just you know die again so let's just do a jump wee 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 and bang okay you'll see I now have reached zero but the way this works is that I will never have less than zero lives so if I now just you know do, do an instant death okay you'll see the lives nothing happened I'm still on zero lives so if I just give myself uh, three more Okay, and I'll go and show you how this works. So, let's go into creative mode. Okay, so this is it. So, it's, lit it's three, three command blocks and two clocks. One clock that is actually stopped. So, you'll see uh, I've got this clock running. So, what this clock does, if you go, if you have a look at it, this is just a straightforward test for. So, what it does, it tests if I have a minimum of one death. So if I've died at least one, so if I've got a death score of one, okay, it'll actually turn off this redstone torch, which will then start this clock up. Now the moment this clock starts, the first thing that's going to go on is the redstone, is the redstone torch, which will then activate this command block. So what this command block does, okay, it says scoreboard players remove all players who has a score. Uh, a death score of minimum one, okay, and have a life score of minimum one, minimum, minimum, minimum one, minimum one, remove one from the lives. So that, that is why my lives on the right hand side drops down because I've won death. <laughs> then it will activate this redstone torch, uh, redstone repeater, which then activates this block 
And this block does exactly the same. It says scoreboard players remove all players who has a death of minimum one. Remove one from their deaths. Okay. So it then removes one from the deaths. Then the clock is going to run again. It'll come back up here. I now have a death score of zero. So immediately it will no longer remo remove any items from um, the, the, the lives. So it'll no longer remove any lives. Okay. Um, but it, will, it won't remove any lives, but it will still tick away. So it'll still tick away. And then it'll go back and it'll then remove death if there's any death. Otherwise, it won't do anything at all. But then, now that I have a death of zero, this clock over here will stop because my minimum score is now zero and not one. Right, that's it. That's as simple as it is. It's a very, very basic, very, very straightforward way of uh, of doing it. Now, I just used lies, but it can be anything at all. I mean, if you, I'm going to pop them on your screen now. I've got a tutorial where you can actually use this to build a life counter that counts down your lives in a light form. So it's used there as well. Um, I also use it in my mini game. So I've got a mini map uh, called uh, uh, Last Man Standing in Candyland. Yeah, go check that out. I use that on there as well. Um, I'm also using it in an upcoming video, um, but in a slightly different way um, for uh, Capture the Flag. Cool. Guys. If you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share it. Get it out there. If you if you think this has you know helped you a lot, yeah, get it out there. Um, cool. Thanks, guys. As always, I will check you all later.